The next procedure I'd like to talk about is female genital cosmetic surgery. It's uh, a group of surgeries that involves surgery of the female genitalia. One is vaginoplasty, which is the same thing as vaginal tightening, and the other is labioplasty, which is essentially a reduction of the labia minora and or majora, the inner and outer lips, respectively. I think the reason these became so popular over the last 10 years is maybe because of the G-string bikini, actually, where women started you know, grooming themselves down there and shaving, and then things became more open and evident, the size of the lips, per se. And then the, the need or the desire for looking more beautiful down there progressed and evolved. Uh, women, much different than men, are very concerned about beauty and how they look. If they don't feel beautiful, they don't have desire or enjoy their sexual experience. If they feel beautiful, they're much more sexual and much more enjoying of the sexual experience. Hence the advent of labioplasty. Uh, the procedure involves, as I said before, reduction of the inner, most commonly or occasionally the outer lips. Uh, it's a procedure that can be done under essentially local anesthesia with a little bit of sedation. General anesthesia is rarely, if ever, necessary for these patients. The good thing is when you have local anesthesia without general anesthesia is you, by the end of the procedure, at the end of the day, you feel fine. It doesn't kind of hang with you for four or five days. The procedure itself is very straightforward. The tissue of the, of the vulva is extremely robust with blood supply and nutrients. It heals just like the inside of the mouth. So most patients are feeling pretty good after a week and have a very short downtime compared to other major procedures like breast augmentation or even labioplasty.